if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration the juice. It is January the 11th, 2024, and today the topic is, it is finished. <laughs> good morning, good morning, and happy Thursday, everybody. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Wednesday. Mine was just fine. Yep. Mine was fine overall. I ended up going to the all staff meeting, which I'm glad that I made it. Um, I was late. <laughs> I walked in a little later than I expected to, but I feel like I came right on time because I was able to hear a word uh, from the man of God. And then I also got a chance to, do, uh, well, participate in communion. I, I um, or I witnessed the communion because <laughs> there wasn't enough cups um, put out. And so me and the other lady that was at the table with me, we didn't get a chance to partake. But um, we did get a chance to, I guess, you know, be a part of it. And then um, there was a lot of prayer, y'all. Just prayer for one another as the team. Prayer for the church and the new things that um, it's getting ready to embark on. And um, prayers for, you know, people... Um, you know, they, they, people were writing prayers on their cards and whatnot for 21 days of prayer. It's day five of 21 days of prayer um, today and well, yeah, yesterday. Um, it was a blessing to be one of the people praying over other people's prayers and whatnot. So that was a beautiful thing as well. I just was so thankful to be in the room and whatnot yesterday. Um, so those were my highlights uh, of the day. I mean, I came back home and got rest and then... Um, I thought I was going to do a rehearsal for my show next month, but it um, uh, seemed like that day and time didn't necessarily work out, so I got to rearrange that and whatnot with the cast of the show for next month. But, um, yeah, those are my highlights of the day. I binge-watched that show that I was telling you guys about um, later on that evening because, again, I was up and bright-eyed and wishy till the rest of the night. But, um yeah, yeah, that's what my Wednesday looked like. I hope, again, that you guys had a great Wednesday and whatnot as well. Let's go ahead and get into this juice, y'all, because, um, yeah, I need to go get ready and everything like that. But, yeah, so, uh, it is finished, that famous quote, right? Um, one of the last things that Jesus said on the cross. Um, I guess I had some time to reflect on that this morning. Um, I woke up either at 6.58 or 6.57, one of those. Um, but when I looked up 6.58 in the Strong's Concordance, it led me to thinking about blood um, and then also thinking about, um, uh, I can't remember the exact word. It started with a C, but basically the word that means finished. Um, I don't know if it was consumed, but some word that meant finished. And then, um, I think I looked up 657, um, Bible 657 this morning, and that led me to also think about blood. Um, it was one of the verses that Jesus was saying in reference to the communion and whatnot. And so with that on my heart and mind, also with the things that was on my heart and mind from yesterday, um, I just took some time to reflect on the blood, right? To reflect on what Christ did for us on the cross and things of that nature. And that's where the inspiration came from. And here are the verses that stood out to me this morning to share. Uh, the first one was Hebrew 9 and 22. It says, Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Um, we all know what the the people of old had to do. Like before Christ did what he did, um, the priests or 
uh, holy men, I guess, of that day and time would have to go and slaughter an animal and things of that nature, and that uh, innocent animal's blood would atone for the people um, for however long uh, length of time, and then they would have to do it over again and over and over again and again. Um, and we know that what Christ did, it surpasses time, right? Um, it, you know, uh, that one time for, for forever, right? Um, and therein lies the difference <laughs> uh, between the two. Um, but ultimately, I guess what I'm receiving here with this first verse is that, I mean, something had to be done, right? Um, there had to be shedding of blood in order for us to even receive the forgiveness um, of the sins and things of that nature. And, I mean, I think we make light of that. Like, I don't know if we really, um, you know... Um, I guess give as much honor as we should give to that. Um, and I say, well, I mean, I know the question could be, well, why do you say that? Miracle? Well, I mean, again, with the way that we live, it's like we, we live as if, you know, none of this matters, right? Um, not all, but majority of us as humans, we live this way. And I don't know. Again, I, I'm just trying to take a little time to, to think about, again, what this means for me and what, you know, again, what Christ did for me. And I hope that you are encouraged and inspired to do that as well for you. Because um, each and every one of us, again, um, like the word says, was quote unquote bought with a price. Um, and obviously, each and every one of us was so important to the Lord um, that he was willing to do that for us. Um, and again, I know I talk about this often, but here it is, I guess, for the first time in 2024. Um, you know, I don't think any of us um, understands that type of sacrifice because I don't think any of us would really want to do it. Um, we would like to think that, yeah, okay, if I had to do this for my child or if I had to do this for my, you know, very close loved one or something that we would. Um but I think the only ones that even kind of slightly understand is people, again, that are in service positions that are putting their life on the line every day um, and things of that nature. You know, people in the military, people, you know, in the, in the police force, fire department, those type of people, they might get to understand this on another level. But those of us regular folk, right, um, it's like we don't want to even, you know, give up our rights for someone else's wrongs, right? We wouldn't want to. So, so let alone die a horrific death, right? Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm just putting things into perspective, right? What what does this mean and what does it look like and what he did um, and the magnitude of, of what he did? Because, again, you know, it wasn't like he signed up for the easiest death ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, you know, I, I am at, admire Elijah, but, you know, at the end of the day, he, he was swept up in the whirlwind. He didn't even have to die a normal death, you know, um, same for that other individual, um, the name went away from my, Enoch, you know, they, what did they say? Um, uh, how did he go? Um, something similar. He didn't have to die either, <laughs> but Christ, uh, the, you know, uh, was beaten to death, you know, um, and then for nothing, the in, most innocent of us all, you know, um, even the, the, now, I don't know what all they did to slaughter the, the animals and stuff, you know, um, the innocent animals to, to atone for the sins. But I don't recall. Um, now, I mean, they had to kill the animal. But um, I don't recall it being said that they were, like, beaten to a pulp, the animals and things of that nature. So even the animals didn't, you know, have to take on that horrific type of death. So... Just something to think about, you know, again, because it's something that we avoided. <laughs> so it's just something to think about and just keeping our hearts and minds in, in, in hopeful gratitude, you know, um, for for what was done. But anyway, here goes more verses. Um, First John 1 and 7, it says, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. You know, what a blessing, right? <laughs> Again, like, what a blessing that is um, that not only, I guess, the willingness, right, but then actually going through with it because we know that he didn't want to. You know, we know that. Again, he was praying 
a prayer uh, saying, hey, if there's any other way <laughs> that this could happen, then by all means, you know, I, I would take that. But again, not my will, but your will be done. And so, you know, it's just something that we should think about, right? It's something that we should consider um, when we think about, again, how we want to live our life and how we want, what we want to do with this message of Christ and things of that nature. More verses. Let's go ahead and keep going. Um, Hebrews 13 and 12. It says, so Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Again, I mean, knowing that it was such a selfless act, right? Um, and then for us who didn't, didn't want it, you know, um, wasn't thinking nothing about it um, and everything like that. I mean, obviously, again, it was worth it to him um, and worth it to the Lord, right, to do such and, and make a way, um, knowing that there would be some that that chose to believe, right? There would be some, you know, so for each and every one of us, right, um, that, that choose, but how difficult that that would be like i'm trying to even just put myself in those shoes for like a slight second and you know knowing that i didn't do anything to deserve what i'm receiving that's already just hard when we think about life you know what i mean like and so let alone being beat for it right and a dying again a horrific death embarrassing death you know, a mocking death, you know, the spitting, the disrespect, the, I mean, you know, it's just, again, like, to God be the glory, right, for the restraint and, and whatnot, um, to go through such things, um, got another verse, it's Romans 5 and 9, it says, since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him, from the work of, excuse me, from the wrath, from the wrath of God. Um, I know I took a brief moment the other day to think about, um, you know, being flooded or, you know, with, or showered, right, with blessings versus being showered with wrath. And, um, you know, again, if, if the cross, right, is any indication of what the wrath of God is like, I mean, you know, to know that we avoided that, um, for no doing of our own, <laughs> you know, it, it's just one of those things. Um, and I, I mean, maybe that's why a lot of us don't feel like that's enough, right? Some of us feel like, man, I got to do something uh, to receive this gift, you know, and things of that nature. Um, but according to the word of God, it's finished. You know, there's nothing that we can do um, but choose, right? Uh, choose, I guess, again, who we're going to serve and, and then choose to live accordingly, which is not an easy thing, of course, you know, we know that it's a daily, um, you know, dying to self, you know, it's a daily um, sacrifice, right, of the quote-unquote things we want uh, for the things that God wants and things of that nature, um, so sure, I mean, there's a level of difficulty, um, but at the same time, it, it's not nowhere near, again, what Christ experienced, Um uh, so, I mean, hey, you know, again, these are just things that I had a chance to, to reflect on this morning, you know, and I guess, you know, show some gratitude and thankfulness for. Um, I got one more verse before we get to the Bible verse of the day, and that verse is 1 Peter 3 and 18. It says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. Again, what a beautiful thing that is. I know, I know too, again, I, I take time to reflect on the fact that, again, we know that he rose a few people from the dead um, in his lifetime and in the time that he was ministering and things of that nature. And so um, for the enemy to not understand that he had control over life um, is something to think about, you know, <laughs> um, because, again, if he was able to raise others from the dead, why wouldn't they consider that he was able to raise himself? But, again, I guess, you know, I guess if it had never been seen or, you know, thought of and things of that nature, I guess it's easy to to think that, you know, oh, he's just another man until, um, you know, he, he does, again, the miraculous and things of that nature. Um, but, hey, I mean, there's plenty to go deeper about all of this, um, plenty to reflect on when it comes to, 
again, what the Lord has done for us. Um, there's plenty of verses in the Go Deeper section that you guys can peruse and let marinate on your hearts, souls, and minds. But I hope that you are encouraged and inspired to, um, you know, I guess reflect on the blood that was shed for us, right? Reflect on um, the sacrifice. And, and even if, even though it's the one time for the many, um, you know, I guess also reflect on what that has to do for you or what that did for you. And, uh, and that's ultimately the juice this morning. Y'all just let, let's, let's take some time and just reflect on those things and understand that it is finished. And then I guess seek the Lord about what that means, uh, specifically for you. Now the Bible verse of today is Psalm 27 and four. It says, one thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. So behold, or to behold, y'all can check and see which one that is, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. If the Lord's will, bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there. Check out the options. Consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show. But we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.